What's up guys, you're Kevalier, AthleteX.com. Today I wanna to help you to get rid of IT band problems and pain forever. Not just for a short period of time, but I'm talking about for the rest of your life. Because it's possible if we go at that actual real root cause of what the problem is. So I really don't need an introduction to IT band syndrome because if you have it, you know it. You've been Googling it, you've been finding out. It's when you get that pain on the outside here of the knee that can run all the way up the side of your leg. And I actually conveniently wear these pants just for this video. I never wear these pants ever before. You actually get a chance to see the IT band in action following those stripes. You guys know that was sarcastic, right? The following the stripes here all the way down to the knee, up to the hip. If you get any kind of pain, especially when you press out there or when you foam roll and you're not foam rolling, right? You see, because for this problem, foam rolling is actually Banned. You're not allowed to foam roll this because all you're going to do, guys, I made a whole video about this before. You can see some of it here. Foam rolling is actually just making this worse. You're inflaming an already inflamed tissue. You're picking on a tissue that had nothing to do with this in the first place. And you need to start to get to the root cause. And what I did in that video, if you haven't seen it, is I showed you how to attack a muscle called the TFL, which is right here. And you can see that this TFL actually feeds down into that IT band. The IT band itself is just a tendinous structure. It's just being impacted by the muscles that we can have an influence over that attach into it. And it's not just the TFL, but it's this one over here too, and that is the glute medius. So you can see how they feed into the white portion here, the tendon structure, which is the IT band. So we know that if we can go after this, then we can start to relieve some of the tension that's being placed here down at the knee and along the whole band itself. Because we know that if this, if this muscle up here is tight and pulling, if it's attached somewhere else, we're going to get tension down there too, right? Up here where we're pulling and down here where it's attached. So we can influence that, and that whole video is a must watch if you haven't watched it, on the right way to sort of change the composition of the muscle that's up here that is overactive. But if we want to get to the root cause of what's actually happening here to permanently make sure this goes away forever, you have to understand that this other muscle is really what's happening. This is the problem. Both of them feed down in, right? One feeds down here vertically, if you follow the fibers we always talk about, and then the glute meads kind of fading in and, and, into, uh, and feeding into it this way, at a different orientation. If you look at the combined effect of these muscles and the tension that they can apply to this common band, we need to have contributions from both. We need to stop this from being so overactive and get this to stop being so underactive because I will guarantee you, your glute medius is incredibly weak. I made a whole video about it being the weakest muscle in every person's body. I'm gonna give you a couple tests in this, in this video here to show you that, that you can determine your own strength there and, and mostly weakness, and then a couple things to do to really, really fix it very quickly. But for, the, for the, the sake of why we're doing this, guys, when this is weak and unopposed, you allow this downward force to dominate. So all this force from this muscle here, the tightness is pulling straight up on here, which is gonna cause the most pain and discomfort down here and along the whole band. If we can offset some of that by having more of this counterbalance from behind, we're gonna disperse those forces, take all the strain off of the IT band itself and get this thing gone forever, all right? So I'm gonna bring Jesse in at this point to test those weak ass, I guess ass really, glute medius of his, and show you guys how to test yours and then give you those exact drills and a couple maintenance stretches to do to make sure it never comes back again. Okay, so now when you're- Whoa, whoa. aren't you gonna introduce me? You need an introduction after all this time? I mean, I would think it'd be nice if you introduced me anytime I come right. on video. How, how about, big deal. How about I let you do it when we edit the video? All right, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Can I yes, proceed? Please. All right, guys, back to what I was saying. So now with Jesse on the ground here, I want to show you a test that you can do for yourself that will reveal likely a humongous weakness in this glute medius. This is what's causing, remember, the root cause of your TFL problems are not anywhere here and down here. They're actually way up here in the hip and actually on the back side because we're not getting that counterbalance. So here's what you do. Jesse, lay on your side. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to stack your hips, okay? So make sure that you're not rolled back one over here or one too far forward. You stack one right up on top of each other. The legs are stacked on top of each other. And now 
you're going to lift this leg up into abduction, which is towards the sky, and you're going to do so with the hip backwards from that midline. All right, so you're not just lifting straight up off of that other knee, it's up and then back, and you're leaving it right here. Can you feel that right here? Yeah. You should be able to feel it right here in this spot, okay? Right on the back side in that glute medius. Now you hold it there. See, I, just, I let go, he already started dropping <laughs> me because he doesn't really have that strength. But there's two tests to do here. If you have somebody nearby, what the first thing that they can do is they can stabilize right here and just push to see how much resistance you can take, and he really can't take much. Or you just try to hold it there, and I want to see if you can hold it for 60 seconds, okay? How are you doing? It hurts. It hurts. Do you think you're going to make it? No. So this is a very easy drill here. You're just lifting and holding, but a lot of you won't be able to do that and hold it for 60 seconds. Or you certainly won't have the strength to be able to withstand any kind of downward force. Right. The next thing we want to do is we want to try to strengthen that. So how do we do it? You tell me. The same way we just did it. The oh, same man. thing becomes an exercise, and it's so simple. It's just not remedial. I've mentioned before the Jane Fonda exercise, side oh, leg lift. This is incredibly helpful here, and this actually helps with low back pain as well to prevent that from coming back. So get back in position, stack everything, and now you have to go slow and deliberate though, okay? So make sure you go straight down to the ground, flat down. All right, there you go. Now what we want to do is we want to lift straight up, slow, control it, squeeze through here, bring it back at the same time. That's where you're going to start and end, okay? Yep. So you're going straight down, and then up and back right there, and squeeze it. Yeah, All right, and down, right, that. okay, go down. It up, right there, and squeeze it. All right, so everyone deliberate, everyone squeezed, everyone with a purpose. I'm telling you, you'd be lucky if you get 10 or 12 good repetitions here. But it showcases just how weak this muscle is, and once you start to finally address it, you're going to be amazed at how much more effective it is for getting rid of this pain. Now, a couple other things. Number one, things to watch out for. As you lift it up, don't lift up and start bringing it in front of the body. Okay, that's the substitution. Instead of being back here in extension, you're shifting the focus off of the glute medius to more of the hip flexor to do this work for you. You don't want to do that. The next thing that's going to likely happen is as you start to bring the leg up, you're going to turn your body. Your pelvis is going to drop back in this direction. That's no good either because what's happening there is you're trying to, this weak glute medius is, is, is begging for help and trying to get help from the hip flexor on the front side or maybe even the TFL to lift up for you. And we don't want that either because all you're going to do is feed more into the problem you've already caused, this imbalance between the two. All right, so the second exercise I want you to do to really start to strengthen up these weak glute medius is to sit on a bench. When we, again, a lot of cyclists, a lot of runners will get this problem because they're going through this continued cycle of a straight leg and then a bent leg, a straight leg and a bent leg. And what happens is you can imagine this band, this tendinous attachment down here at the knee, when the leg straightens out, there's the most laxity that there's going to be on it. And then when I bend, I start to bend that structure that's already tight, and it then just tends to snap over the outside structures of the knee. And then when I go straight again, it's lax and it can kind of move, and then as I start to bend, it builds that tension and then it kind of snaps. That leads to a lot of the irritation, repetitive irritation of the outside here. So you want to make sure that you're strengthening this under load in all scenarios of extension or flexion of the hip. So what we can do is we can take a band like this, you step through it like that, so you just step your feet through, all right, now you wrap it around here, you cross over once like Jesse's doing there. Now you take this band, you're going to wrap it around the knees one more time, so over the thighs and under the foot. Over the thigh and under the foot. Okay, so now you've got basically this resisted structure here for your hips. Now, however far apart you keep your feet is going to determine how much more tension you have on that band. But about hip width apart is a good place to be. And now from here, you're going to go and spread the legs apart, go out into abduction, and then you come back in. Again, deliberate, good repetitions, out, squeeze, hold. You can feel it right in that yeah. spot, right? Right yep. through the, the glute med. Okay, now you would do a set of like 10 good, well-intentioned repetitions here. Now, this is with a pretty upright torso, so we have about 90 degrees of relative hip flexion. If we want to make more hip flexion, you just bring your torso forward. Right now the hips are flexed a lot more towards the trunk relatively. Instead of having to move the hip up, we move the torso down. Now we do the same thing. Oh. Sound effects included here. Right? Yeah. Harder here? Yeah, way harder. Okay. 
Again, probably weak in this, in this uh, range. Okay, same thing, 10 good repetitions there. And then the last thing, you put your hands on the bench, you allow yourselves to lean back, your feet can come out a little bit this way towards, towards me, you scoot your butt forward. Now you're into more of an extended range of motion at the hip, not fully extended, but you're less flexed. And now you go and you do the same thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> out and in, the same way. Into abduction, hold, squeeze, and then come in. Oh. You're not speeding through these reps, you're doing each one with quality. All right, so again, something really simple you can do, 10, 10, and 10. You do these a few times a week, and I promise you, as that gets better, you're gonna start to feel that this pain on the outside of your knee or even up your leg is gonna be gone forever. You never had to foam roll in the first place. One last thing I wanna show you is just two maintenance stretches you can do just to make sure you're keeping it loose and feeling good all the time. All right, Superstar, you're going solo on this one. You got it? Yeah, I got you. All right, here we go. So now, the stretch, guys. So what you do is you find something you can lean up against. All right, in this case, it's a box. Go ahead and put your elbow on it. Make sure that your elbow is underneath your shoulder like Jesse's doing there for support. And then what you're gonna do is if you're going to stretch your right leg out, right, the I, right IT band, then it goes out to the side and it's straight like that. You try to keep your knee as straight as possible. With your left leg now, step across and down. Okay, now all he's gonna do is he's just gonna allow himself to sink straight down just like that. Okay, he's just getting that Stretch all the way around the outside of that hip, all the way down to the knee. If you bend your knee, you're going to lose some of that. The other thing that you're looking at is up here at his torso, he's trying to create some extra flexion, lateral flexion. So you can see he's sort of leaning in that direction to try to open it up. That would actually be a nice additional stretch to feel it basically from the lat attachment up here at your armpit all the way down to the outside. All right, so obviously you do both sides. You hold this for about 45 seconds or so per stretch and you're good. All right, so this one you don't need to rest on anything. You can do it freestanding in space. So here's Jesse, again, standing. And what he's gonna do, if it's the right side, he's gonna step in front of that right side with his left foot, and now turn his body in that direction, and then start to lean his whole body while he shoots his hips, his right hip, all the way out to the side, as far as he can. I can hear him groaning from here. So the left leg there that's in front is actually trying to hold his right leg straight and keep his knee from bending in the back. Is that what you're doing there, Jess? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so then you basically reach out and you kick that right hip out to the side. Come back up again. Relax. Do it one more time. So again, step there, across. Now you're lean that way. Kick the right hip all the way out to the side, straight out to the side like that. And now lean down and try to touch to the outside of your foot over here in this direction. And again, you'd hold this for about 45 seconds, and that's just a quick thing, easy thing you could do. But the most important thing is that working on the strength is going to be the long-term key to your success. All right, guys, so there you have it. Finally, a permanent fix to your IT band problems, and it had nothing to do with your IT band, at least not directly, because as we remember, it's these two areas right here that need your attention, and mostly this one right here is gonna need your strengthening attention, and that's what I showed you here. By the way, I have a whole other video that I mentioned in the beginning about the weakness in the weakest muscle in your body being this glute medius. I will link that as well at the end of this video to show you another exercise option that requires no bands at all. The fact is, guys, start paying attention to this, to counteract this, and I promise you this is gonna to start to feel a whole hell of a lot better. If you're looking for programs, guys, that put the science back in strength, because as you see, all this matters. There's a reason why our bodies are put together the way they are. We build them into all of our programs. They're all available over at athletics.com. If you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what I'm gonna cover, and if you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video when we put one out. All right, guys, see you soon.